Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 54 in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss of like how we can manage the libraries for Apache Spark pool in Azure Synapse Analytics using requirements.txt file. That means in our previous videos we have discussed right. Uh, let's assume like uh, inside the Synapse workspace you have something called Apache Spark pool. Let's assume this is a Apache Spark pool. And what we do, we try to create a notebooks there, right? And this notebooks actually going to run on top of this Spark pools, right? So let's assume this is Spark pool one. So for some reason, uh, if you have created some package and if you want to install that package onto this Spark pool, let's assume this is a package which you want to install onto this. Then in our past video, what we did is we have uploaded this package into synapse workspace and from the synapse workspace we have attached this package with the spark cluster thereby whenever any session starts then that particular package also installed that we have already discussed in our previous video so in this video we are going to discuss about how we can install a packages using requirements.txt file so if you have watched my python playlist there we already discussed that there is something called PyPI that means python package indicator so index so th this is something like think like it's a repository inside this repository any people who create packages in the python let's assume one package will be to interact with the sql and maybe another package is uh, maybe to change the color of the text coloroma is one of the package and uh, there is one package called camel case so this package helps you to convert the uh, text sentences into camel cases. That means let's assume I have sent a message like hello Mahir. This is a string. Then this is going to be converted as capital H. Camel case means first letter will be capital. Then hello. Then in the Mahir the first letter will be capital. So like that it will be converted. So to do this kind of conversion there is a package called camel case which is as part of this Pi PI library or Pi PI interface. So in my Python playlist, I have already discussed this. What is this Pi PY? So this is think like this is like a, a package manager. Like uh, all the Python packages will be available inside this website only. So from there only, usually whenever you execute a pip install command, the packages will be installed from there only. So let me practically show you that. Let me go to the browser. And in the browser, let me try to search like pipi.org. That is the website. So if you go inside this, it is going to give you like uh, the URL website, something like this. And here, all the packages, whatever people use to create as a Python community, they will be placed here only. And for example, if you want to install any package, you can install using this pip command, right? Pip install, then the package name. So let's assume there is, a, there is something called package camel case so this camel case package helps you to convert the strings into camel case so whenever i execute this command in my local what will happen this particular package will be installed in my local so let me do one thing before that so in my local system i am executing pip list command to see whatever the packages available in my system if you see here there are so many packages available but there is no package called camel case right so now let me do one thing here I am going to execute a command called pip install if you close the observer I am typing a command here pip install then camel case. So this is going to get this camel case package from this repository python package index that is pipi and then it is going to install it. If you want to see that package here also you can search like camel case when I hit search see camel case which will convert a string into camel case this is the package name. And here 0 0.2 is the version of the package which is available in the system. So now if I go back to my command prompt, you can see it is successfully installed camel case package. So now in my local, if I try to write my Python code and if I try to import this camel case package, it will work. Let me practically show you that. I have a Visual Studio code already opened and here I have a file called demo.python. So let me close all these dialogues here, whatever it is coming here. And then what I am doing in this code is I am trying to import this camel case package and if you see the color of the camel case changed. 
Why? Because now my Python code is identifying that package because that is already installed in my system and as you have seen it here. Now let's go back to our Visual Studio code. Here on inside this camel case class there is a function or there is a class called camel case. So to this using this constructor let's try to create a object of this camel case and let's try to save that object into a variable called c. Now c is a object of that camel case class then on top of this c there is a function called hump. This function actually takes a string and it will convert them into camel case format. So let me try to do that. So here into this particular hump function I am going to supply value called hello mahir and then let's try to print this whatever the output of this hump function I am trying to print using a print function. Let me save these changes and then let me try to run python space demo.py that is my python file right. So I am executing my python. Now if you see the output I got hello mahir in a camel case. Here I supplied all the small letters but I got a camel case as an output here. So now similarly let's assume the same library this camel class library I want to install my python code. Will that possible? If yes then how to do that? That is what we are going to see here actually. So now let me do one thing here. Let me navigate to this uh, management hub. What you can do? All the packages whatever you want to install from python py index that means from here right. So from this package manager python py if you want to install any package python py then you what you need to do you need to use that package names and along with the version into the requirements.txt file and in which format you need to use it you need to use it in pip fridge format so what i mean to say pip fridge here let me try to clear the command prompt and here let me try to execute this pip fridge command so whenever try to execute this command it is going to give you all the packages which are installed in your system and uh, the format here see it will give the package name then equals to equals to then the version number so if i use the same like pip list command it is also going to give you the all the packages which are installed into the system but the version numbers will not come in this format so let me execute here also so here it will give you like a tabular format but the pip fridge command is going to give the package names along with this with the versions using this equals to equals to symbol so in this in this format you need to take the package names and you need to have them into your requirements.txt file let me go back to my presentation see here in the presentation also i have mentioned that in the requirements.txt file you need to mention your packages which you want to install from pypi library in this format so what i did is in my local i have created a requirements.txt file if i double click and open I have mentioned the same camel case package name here. So now what I want, I am want to upload this text file into my spark pool and thereby install this package into my spark pool. So let me do that. So let me go back to my uh, uh, Chrome browser here and let me go back to Synapse Studio. Right now, if I see this package pool, uh, if, I, if, you, if I see this Apache Spark pool and here in, there is a Apache Spark pool one. When I go to the packages for this Apache Spark pool, there is no requirements file attached right here. So the requirements files should be attached here. So without attaching any requirements file, let me go to development menu and let's try to create a new notebook here. And then inside this notebook, let's try to let's try to attach this notebook with my Spark pool one. And let me minimize this here. And if you see this notebook default language is Python. So here. Let's try to execute this command called pip fridge and then see whether whenever I try to start a spark session on this pool using this command. So this command is going to give you all the packages installed on the pool right. So let's try to make sure whether we have that camel case uh, com uh, package already installed or not. So let's wait for the command to execute here. So right now you can see it, it is trying to start the spark session. It will take couple of seconds or couple of minutes. We have to wait for the execution here. Let's wait for it. See our Apache Spark session started in 3 minutes and then it also listed all the packages which are already available inside this system. And if I scroll on here, uh, all these package names are in alphabetical order. When I go to the packages which starts with alphabetic C, there is no camel case package installed. 
so that is the reason uh, if i try to execute a command something like this so let me scroll down here and then here let's try to import camel case right like how i did in my local so when i try to import camel case see there is no intelligence also so even without intelligence if i try to do that so let me go back to my visual studio code and let's try to copy this entire python code so this is also python code only right and uh, the spark pool notebook also i just now open in a python only right so the python code should work here so since there is no camel case module available installed on my spark pool it is going to fail so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and see it complains that there is no module called camel case <coughs> and we have already validated the same by executing this pip freeze command not only pip freeze you can also execute this pip list command as well to list down all the packages which are available on the spark pool if you scroll down here when i go to alphabetic c there is no camel case package see here it is not installed now let's assume for some reason i want to take that camel case package from python package indexer website or there whatever i shown you right and i want to make sure to install that package onto this spark pool when the session starts how to do that so to do that let me stop this session first and let me stop this session and then let me try to close this notebook uh, let's stop the session while closing the notebook and then let's go back to okay so let me hit close here once again close and discard okay and then go back to this management and then here under this management menu let's go back to apache spark pools and go to your pool and click this three dots and select the packages and here i am going to upload that requirements.txt file so inside that requirements.txt file i have shown you before right i have mentioned the package name which i want to install so that requirements.txt file is on my desktop so let me select that file and let me upload that file into my workspace apache spark pool one here right and the moment i click this apply button what will happen all the package names which are mentioned inside this text file are going to be installed on the apache spark pool one so let me hit this apply button to apply that package settings to the spark pool one so this is going to take few minutes usually to install all the packages so you need to wait for this apply settings to complete here actually so let's wait for this apply settings to complete here okay so now our package settings were successfully applied so you can see the success message also it almost took 20 minutes actually so it usually takes some time man okay so now let's go back to our notebooks and let me open this notebook and at this time if i try to execute this pip list command i should see that camel case library installed here so this is a previous execution where you don't see camel case library installed here right so now i am going to start this notebook by hitting shift enter that means i am going to run this pip list command now so now let's wait for this command to execute complete here and uh, in a once the session starts we should see that camel case and also if we try to execute this previous code what we have run in visual studio code which uses this camel case and try to convert this string into camel case even this should work so let's go back to our uh, synapse workspace and let's wait for the uh, synapse uh, the spark session to start here great see our session started and we can see this pip install uh, the pip list command also executed and if i scroll down to see all the packages here i should see i will be seeing this camel case package also right so now this time if i try to execute this code whatever i executed in my visual studio code that should work so let me uh, write that code here so our code is like import camel case and then we try to use that camel case object to pass that uh, uh, normal string right so let me do the same thing so import camel case and then inside this camel case library there is a uh, class called camel case so let me use dot camel case and this class constructor is going to create a object of it and let's uh, save that object back into a variable called c and then on top of this c c object there is something called hump function to the hump function let me pass like hello wafa okay so hello abdul wafa so maybe everything as a small letters i am passing it into this hump function and whatever the output comes here from this hump function let's try to print that so for that i am using a print function here 
now if i execute this code it should work see i am not seeing any module not found error and also i can see this string whatever i supplied here was converted into camel case so that means indirectly using that requirements that text file i am able to install the package on my spark pool so to do that i have gone to management hub and spark pools and here select your spark pool and select this packages option and here you need to upload that requirements dot text file and as i said before that requirements test dot text file should contain your package name in pip fridge format that means the package name equals to equals to then the version of the package name okay so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea like how to install packages into apache spark pool using the requirements dot txt file thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much